ghost. He is a husky. Um, I think he might be a German Shepherd, part German Shepherd, because he's got those brown eyes. He has the nice light coat of a husky. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, this video has been long anticipated by you guys. Um, you guys have been asking me to see my custom exhaust on my 2007 Yamaha FZ6. Um, I actually built this exhaust for about $50, and it sounds freaking beast. So this is the NJ exhaust here. Um, so basically, all that you need for it is two glass packs. These are the Jones glass packs. Um, they're nine inch and I got two of them to match the stock FZ6 look and the nine inch is perfect length to fit underneath here and be able to weld the pipes back there and weld the pipe to connect the other, um, the other pipe right there. It's just like that. So if you get the 12 inch Jones glass pack um, which I was thinking I would actually do. It's gonna be a little bit longer. It's gonna probably stick out to about here. <laughs> it's probably gonna stick out to about here or so with the um, the 12 inch Jones glass pack. So just get the nine inch. They look a lot cleaner. Um, if I step back here, that looks a lot cleaner than if they were sticking out the back. On the FZ6, I've seen some people with the Acropovic exhausts and they're freaking sticking out to like right here and they just look awful. <laughs> I mean, they don't look awful, they sound nice, but um, they're definitely not my style. I like it clean um, and a little bit shorter. So. so anyway, you'll need the glass packs and you'll need some pipe. Pipe I got wasn't an exact match for the, the stock mid pipe. It's a little bit bigger. I think it was a half inch bigger than the mid pipe. Um, so I had to get a coupler, as you see here. I think the stock pipe was two and a half inch and so this is probably actually three inch. So I had to go from two and a half inch to three inch with a coupler, got that at AutoZone. They come dirt cheap and they're readily available. Um, and so then it goes into a three inch pipe, as I recall, all the way back up here and into the glass packs. Yeah, it's, it's pretty easy. It's not all that hard to do. You just need to know how to weld and you need to know how to fabricate some stuff. Um, I can't show you because the seat's on it and the cowl back here is on it. Um, but when you pull off the stock system, you'll actually see on the top of the stock system, there's actually a mount right under here that kind of mounts onto the back underneath the seat here. So you'll have to fabricate that. I think you can see actually, let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. So you guys can see it. Um, but you can see that little bar in there. Little bar connects the two, um, the two mufflers together to form that bracket that's underneath here. It has two bolts. It kind of just sits over and they just bolt it in. And that way that holds up the mufflers. But that honestly wasn't too bad. You, I kind of just eyeballed it and it turned out perfectly. Oh, and also something you'll probably be wondering if you are actually considering building this yourself. Um, the stock pipe back here that goes all the way up and back to the muffler, um, that has a bend in it, um, whereas this one does not. You actually don't need to bend any pipe. Um, I've heard some people saying that you need to bend the pipe just like the stock one. You do not. Um, I know this from experience. This pipe here has no bend in it whatsoever. It just has that coupler down there that fits it into the, um, the stock pipe. So basically, um, something I forgot to mention before is the coupler um, that I welded onto the pipe, um, the three inch pipe I told you about. The coupler, I just cut an angle of it off so when you put it in, it fits onto the mid pipe, which is kind of at an angle going back into the engine bay there. Um, so you will need that coupler to kind of just angle a little bit to fit that pipe, but again, this pipe is perfectly straight. Um, there are no bends in it whatsoever. It just goes straight back into a muffler right there. And then I also cut a hole. Um, you can see there, oh frick. I just turned off my gimbal. We're back. <laughs> um, and you can see there that I actually cut a hole out of that pipe and welded the other one um, to connect the second muffler. It's actually quieter. The system is actually quieter. If you only connect this one exhaust pipe, I have no clue how that works, but with the both mufflers connected up, it's actually louder than it is just with this one muffler. Um, so that's something to keep in mind, but I did want to connect it just because in the cold, when you cold start it, smoke would only be coming out um, 
this side and it would look super gay. <laughs> so, uh, so I just wanted to avoid that. So smoke and it kind of just routes the exhaust just like the stock one does out both sides. Um, I think you can see it better over here maybe. Um, but yeah, I did connect that. So I just had to cut a hole in that pipe. I did this one first. So I did this whole pipe here, um, just to back into this one. And then I took it off the bike and then I put it back on and then marked where I needed to cut the hole. And then I, I welded those pipes together and back into the second muffler here. So anyway, that's how I did that. Um, it's pretty straightforward. It's not, it's not too hard. You just have to do a little bit of thinking and you'll be pulling the exhaust system off and on as you're doing it. Um, but you can, as you start building it, you can definitely get a feel for what you need to do. But yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. So basically all you'll need is the pipe. If you want to do the same thing I did, a coupler into a larger three inch pipe and then back to two Jones glass packs. Again, these are the nine inch glass packs. Um, really, really cheap on Amazon. I think they get, were like $17 each. And then the pipe, of course, was another $12 or something. And then the coupler was another $2 or something. So, so it was a total of about $50. And it sounds so, so good. Oh yes, and one last thing I forgot to show you guys. The paint, I just used some high temperature spray paint. Um, probably, I think it cost me like $6 for a can of it. Um, and that's all I did. I didn't clear coat it or anything. This is just high temperature spray paint. Um, and it's held so far for several years now. Um, no chipping or anything. So I, I kind of just masked around everywhere with tape and then just sprayed the whole thing down. So um, pretty easy. And the black is perfect. It matches everything else on the bike. Um, so I love that look. So anyway, that's the, that's the final touch you guys will need once you build the whole thing, get it all welded up. Um, get it nice and clean then give it a nice coat of paint um, even if it's just a clear coat if you want it to be silver even just a clear coat would help just so it doesn't start rusting so but anyway that's the final touch so anyway yeah um, honestly this is probably my favorite looking exhaust out of all of them there's some from Dan Moto which are the like budget exhausts that you can get for the FZ6. It's like $320 or something. Um, you can get the Acropovic, you can get two brothers slip-on systems, I believe, for the FZ6, but that's pretty much it. There's really not that many for the FZ6, um, it being a sport touring bike. I guess people just didn't care enough to build a bunch of systems for it and stuff. So, but anyway, I honestly prefer this look than, um, over the Danmoto, the Acropovic and all that. I've seen them all on the FC6s, and this one looks just the best by far. It just looks really clean. All right, so anyway, that's how I built my exhaust system. I know you guys have been waiting so long for this video. Here it is. Um, I care about you guys too much to keep this waiting any longer. So anyway, without further ado, let's see how this thing sounds. So this is gonna be absolutely cold start. Alright, so there you have it. Um, I didn't want to make the neighbors mad. I want to remain respectful to them um, So I didn't really rev it past what is it? Uh, 5,000 rpm, which is insane because it redlines at 14,000 it only got up to right about 5,000 um, from what you guys heard so anyway <laughs> so that being said here are some clips I have some other footage of a little bit more higher rev and here's some on the road as well so let's take a look at that
Well, there you have it. It's getting a little dark. I'm getting a little bit tired and I'm getting bit up by mosquitoes. That is the exhaust system I built for my 2007 Yamaha FZ6. Total cost right around $50, probably just under that. And I like it because first of all, it does sound really cool. And that's really why people put exhaust systems on their bike, especially slip-on systems, because um, it sounds cool. Um, people argue it adds performance. It doesn't really add that much performance. It sounds cool and it is for safety a little bit in my case. I built it when I was um, living in LA and I was lane splitting a lot and having a silent bike you can imagine it's kind of just, it's stressful when you're trying to ride around. You don't know if people can hear you or not. This one they certainly can. Um, so um, it was definitely for mostly for safety for me when I was living in LA, but yeah. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video finally got it out. Um, I hope you guys love it. Let me know what you guys think and if you do build systems just like this one um, inspired by this video um, now that you know how to do it, send me a Facebook message. I love to see these kind of things from subscribers. I hope you loved this video. Um, if you did, smash that like button. It always helps us out over here on the YouTube and feel free to subscribe if this is your first time watching. If you like what you see, um, it's pretty chill here. So yeah. All right guys, I'll see you in the next video.